Hey you! Yeah, you! Wanna buy some pedal bus? Wondering if it's worth it or not? We will discuss it right here and now! First of all, what is pedal bus? According to Wikipedia, a pedal pass or reward track is a type of monetization approach that provides additional content for the game, usually through a tiered system, rewarding the player with in-game items for playing the game and completing specific challenges. Some games have two tiers of battle pass, the free battle pass, which usually have less or worse reward, and the paid one. Most of the time, you need to pay with real-life money to buy those said paid battle pass. The cost usually differ per game, but it's usually around 10 US dollar mark. In Limbus, there are two types of battle pass. Well, technically three. The free one, the paid one, and the special one. The special one is just paid battle pass with some additional bonus, such as 10 pass levels, one level boost ticket pour, and a special package banner. The paid battle pass is or was advertised at $11. Why was? Because there is a better way to buy the battle pass now. And that's where the sponsor of the video comes. Nah, just kidding. As of season 4, the way to buy battle pass has changed from money to buying with paid lunacy. 1300 to be exact. Meanwhile, the special package cost 2700 paid lunacy or 1700 lunacy after the Limus Pass has been unlocked. What is the difference? The key difference is this. With first time bonus, you can get as low as $6.25 for a single battle pass. But it might be steep price because you need to buy the lunacy hoard which costs $80. The better alternative if you don't want to spend $80 or $42 on a battle pass straight away is to just buy Lunacy Bouquet for $12 plus Lunacy Bundle for $4 for a total cost of $16 that can last you for 2 battle pass or to buy the Lunacy Crate for $24 that can last you for 3 battle pass All of them are basically $8 per battle pass That's 27% cheaper than buying the battle pass bundle or set up using money like the previous season Speaking of buying battle pass we should know what is inside of the said battle pass first before buying, right? It might not be worth of lore, right? Limbus battle pass has a set rewards from level 1 to 120. After that, you get a nominable ego shard crates for every level that you gain after level 120. But with paid battle pass, you get two additional nominable ego shard crates, so you get three crates per level instead of one which is very huge since it is very likely that you will reach level 500 battle pass if you do dailies every day and at least one mirror dungeon heart run every week. As for the set rewards, here's the reward that you can get. You can get 300 threads, 50 for free battle pass and 250 for paid battle pass, 75 and 125 ego shard crate for a total of 200, and a whopping total of 590 nominable ego shard crates. It's quite a surprise, considering you get nearly twice as much nominable ego shard crate in free battle pass compared to the paid one. Then, we will get around 110,000 EXP, which can raise one single unit to nearly level 43. Speaking of leveling up, you will also get a level boost ticket 4, which boosts your unit straight to level 40. You will also get Engavelin modules and boxes that amounts to 2,400 stamina and 1,950 free lunacy and also 20 extraction pools alongside with 1 guaranteed unit in that particular season 10 pool tickets for a total of 30 pools. You will also get some egos. For 3 seasons, it has been 6 egos. 3 for free battle pass and 3 for paid battle pass. Then, alongside with that, you also get some accessories like banner, decoration for player card, announcer pack, which at this season you get 2, 1 for each tier of battle pass, and other cosmetics. So, the real question hasn't been answered yet. Is it worth? Personally for me, it is worth. 
since I am quote unquote Limbus content creator and also trying to get for low turns in railway, it is necessary for me to farm threads and shards as much as I possibly could and the battle pass helps a lot for that since I could just exchange shards as threads. Also, as a gacha gamer, I feel like the battle pass is quite cheap as well. Considering the last 3 seasons, we have 95, 167, and 133 days of battle pass, which on average is 131 days or around 4.5 months. Assuming battle pass costs $8, it's under $2 per month for a battle pass which is extremely cheap. Granted, if you only do one mirror dungeon heart every week and do the mission, on average, you will reach level 594, which will get additional 944 crates just from the paid battle pass, apart from the 335 crates that you will get from level 1 to 120. That's a total of 1279 crates and that's like 6 extra 3 star units from just buying the battle pass. That number will increase based on how much you want to sacrifice your time to the mines of Mirror Dungeon. Also, keep in mind that you will get one guaranteed 3 star unit for that season, alongside with 1300 lunacy and 8 extraction ticket and 3 paid ego. Usually, the ego at the end, which is paid, is a great ego to have. The cosmetics are nice, but it's just cosmetic at the end of the day, right? I think the announcer can be bought with 1300 lunacy if you want, but that's the same price as just buying the battle pass. For the special pass, think of it that you're paying 1400 or 1700 extra for just free level 40 XP and the banner, which I personally think that it's ain't worth it, but if you really want the banner, feel free to buy it. In conclusion, buying the battle pass is very worth for its value and you should just buy paid lunacy instead of the $11 battle pass lunacy bundle because first time purchase exists and it is very efficient to just buy them. Also for special pack, I think it is not worth it but if you like the banner, feel free to buy it. That's it for the battle pass explanation. If you want detailed explanation about the ego, watch the video right here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, and if you have any question regarding battle pass, feel free to ask me in the comment section or on my discord server, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!